Hi everyone, we're back at the TW Home Show and what I want to show you here today is uh, if you're anything like me, if you watch some of my uh, videos, I have a lot of LEDs around my house, these stringable LEDs with the uh, double-sided st sticky tape on the back. And what happened uh, recently is I bought a couple rolls of these and they come with the power pack and the remote control as well. And I ordered way too long of a roll here and I used what I needed for underneath my bed. I lit up the bed underneath for uh, evening glow at night. And then they've got uh, like every foot or every three, four inches, they have a section marked where you can cut right there. And if you cut in that spot, these things will still work. And you can cut it to whatever length you need. And I've got a whole big roll here. I got two big rolls here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how today, how you can splice the end of this uh, LED strip and reuse it. Um, and I'm gonna show you where to order the power pack from. Just order an additional power pack. The power pack costs under $10 and the connectors that you need for the end of these LED strips here cost, uh, I think, a little over a dollar a piece. I bought them in a five pack for, I think, $6 or something. I'll put the links down below and uh, stay tuned. Watch how we do this. I'm going to show you one in working condition before we start so you can see the results for yourself and then we'll go in and I'll show you how easy this is to do. It only takes minutes and you can save yourself uh, $20, $30 on buying a whole nother new kit. I'm going to show you how we salvage the LED strips that we have here now. I had two giant rolls uh, to go underneath my bed and look how much is left of them. You know, but they've got cut ends on them. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to salvage these. Right now, I wanna show you one that's already done so you can quickly see how easy it looks. And then we'll go over how easy it actually is to do. Uh, you need this one connector here. And this one connector has the pins to go into your power unit. And a clip that opens on this side where you can clip in your uh, remaining LED strip that's left. And then once you plug that in, plug it into your power strip, uh, into your power uh, wall or outlet, and you press on. Green, red, blue, it's working. White, off. Off. You have to point it at this uh, little sensor here, your remote. So it works with this simple little adapter right here. All you have to do is buy this little power pack with remote control and that I bought right here. And I bought this off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below. This power, uh, this whole kit right here includes the remote control, this power adapter and cord. And then you'll have to buy these they come in packs of i bought packs of five where one end is black that one end is black here and the other end is a white uh, clip that opens up when you strip off this led like i'll show you uh, you put it slide it in here and then fold the clip over and you're done you have another uh, whole strip for under eleven dollars I'm going to show you what comes in this box. Your remote controller. Your power cord. And your power adapter. And it comes with a sensor, and this is where you need to uh, plug in the LED strips. 
your power cord plugs into here. Okay, we're going to take one of our uh, adapters. This end has the holes where it plugs into the power supply. This end is the spliceable end and we're going to open up the tab on this. And you see how that opens up there. And there's the contacts. So you'll slide your LED strip down here. And I want to show you there's uh, red, blue, green, and power. Uh, black is the power cord. Uh, and those have to be lined up the right way. So we'll get to that. Right now we're going to uh, start stripping this. And we need to have this to find out how far back we need to cut this to fit in. We want it to fit under right underneath those push tabs, right on the tips there. So the tips will be on the tips of these copper uh, contacts right here on the LED strip. So we see how this uh, paper uh, adhesive backing, this is blocking us here. So we have to cut that off the back there. And then we got to cut the top gel off of this uh, strip. Okay, first I'm going to cut the back off, the adhesive strip backing. I'm just going to slice in there with a little knife until I feel I'm hitting the uh, strip, the LED strip, and then just peel it away just like that and peel it off. Set that aside. Now it has to be thinner so we're going to have to cut that gel off the top of there. So I'm going to cut it back probably about a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to kind of saw through it. It's really soft but it's like gooey kind of like a glue. And you have to gently uh, get underneath there and just scrape it off. But don't press too hard to where you ruin the light strip. You want to get those contacts uh, available to uh, touch that connector that we're going to connect it to. I should have a cutting board here. I'm setting a bad example. Okay, once you get it going there, it comes off pretty good. I just want to get it back a little bit further. There we go. Now, if you can take a look at that, how thin I got it, where the copper connectors are. And I took that gel off of the top and the adhesive strip off of the back, about a quarter inch down from the top there. Now we'll take it and we look at our wires, blue, red, green, and black on our, going to our connector. And those are marked as well on the tip of your LED strip where the contacts are. So the blue is on the side that my finger is on right now. That's blue. So we'll take the blue here and line it up and it's got, uh, I don't know if you can see that. You're supposed to slide that uh, LED right in there underneath the contact points. Slides in really nice if you got it peeled back the right way like we just did. And then clip it. Should make a little clip uh, feeling there and we've got it. And that's all you do. Now we have a whole roll here of LED strips. Let's see if it works. We're going to plug it into our power adapter here. And when you plug it into the power adapter, you'll see again, there is a arrow on this side of that power adapter. And then if you look on your black connector here, there's an arrow right here on this side. Those arrows need to be lined up or you're connecting them backwards and it's not going to light up the correct way. Uh, actually, it probably won't light up at all. So, we've made our connection. 
Let's test it out. Take our controller, press on. Check out all the colors, make sure they're working. Blue, green, oops, green's not working. Red, red's working, green's not working. So we've got a contact issue. So we're gonna go ahead and look at that again. Yeah, it's a little loose here. I'll probably have to readjust the contacts a little bit. We do have it connected right. It was just loose. This connector might not be pressed down all the way. Yeah, it's, it's made a little, another click, a notch in it. So let's see how this works now. We're gonna do red, green, blue, white, and we'll do a flash. They're all working. Now we have another light strip, huge extra light strips that I was gonna throw out. It only cost me about 12 bucks to put this uh, group together again. $12 huge light strip here. So that'll save you some money. Thanks for tuning in and watching the show. I'll see you next time. Echo, turn on the floor lights. Here you can see we've put LED lights right underneath our new adjustable bed. Echo, turn off the floor lights. They're working really well with Alexa. Echo, turn the floor lights on. Your secrets kept you pushing down, disavow. When it was knocking on your door, nobody got in. Now when you're screaming for a hand, nobody's listening. Oh, this is far from the end. You're gonna be back for To the bitter end, and it's a repeat echo loop. Oh, oh, oh. Wanna cut it out? The tide is turning back at you.